we are here because of one thing and that is the sony 12 to 24. we're gonna do a wide angle shootout we're gonna take some portraits of melissa and we're gonna be distorted she's gonna be yeah she's gonna hate us after this shoot <laughs> we're gonna make her really tall in a lot of photos five minute rounds who can take the best shot let me know in the comment section who won guys pierre lambert where he has 230,000 subscribers and he does epic street photography like really good i'm i got my hands full here all right manny you've got five minutes in three two one go if you came to see manny crumble on the pressure take a screenshot baby because this was not easy 12 millimeter portraits my strategy was to sacrifice her foot and her leg those are my sacrificial lambs so i can keep her face in the center of the picture because this is a portrait after all you know this shot came out so fire but don't get it twisted i consider myself to be a creatively challenged person if you feel like you struggle with creativity like me sometimes you just got to try something completely new and different don't be afraid to fail sometimes you're just gonna get lucky <laughs> Two, one, boop. You're done, brother. Right. And go. All right, you got five minutes. So Pierre wasted no time busting out his bag of tricks using the slow shutter speed method to use the people passing as blurry objects. Now, what, like, what a way to crush any kind of momentum that I had. <laughs> no, but for real though, great ideas and great execution. Right, this is not perfect. fair. Now you're gonna look towards here. I want you guys to pay attention to how he uses foreground elements to add interest to his photos. You can seriously learn something by watching someone like him and his creativity. The fact that we were under pressure and he's just like defaulting to these creative ideas just boggles my mind. Like I'm really jealous because I'm not used to shooting with a wide angle on this. It just looked... <laughs> it's just like a, it was it. It's like a wave. Yeah, it's gonna be deleted pretty soon. <laughs> uh -uh. Two, one, boom. Manny's second location. Let's go. If there's two things that I love in life, it's symmetry and leading lines. And this, my friends, is absolute heaven. I don't care what lens you put in my hands with this kind of scene, I'm gonna make it look epic. The easiest and most obvious way to shoot this is having her in the middle, shooting it straight on, but you also want to shoot it from different angles, shoot it from high, shoot it from low, shoot it from an angle so that you can capture it in different ways. And you'd be surprised, my favorite shot here was the one taken from the side. If you are watching this, please, 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 please use common sense when shooting in a street. Always have a spotter. If you don't have a spotter, don't shoot in a street. It is dangerous. Oh, good idea. One more. One, two, three, go. Okay. Awesome. And five, four, three, two, one. Boom. I, I have to say, I haven't had this much fun shooting portraits in a, in a while. You see, the, you see the world through a whole different perspective. It unlocks a whole different level of like posing and stuff. I, I feel like it's a lot of fun. Pierre's turn. He's going to totally bomb it. So don't expect too much. <laughs> Melissa, aren't we going to get the best shots? Yes. Here we go. Let's and go. go. go? Yeah. We're going to wait for the cars to pass. Yo, I don't care if you think you are a top photographer or not, we can always learn from each other and pick up little tidbits on our workflow. Here, Pierre took symmetry to the next level. He had to walk into the pose and created even more symmetry to the shot, which makes it extra dynamic in my opinion. Oh, this is you. so good. All right, let's try the next shot. Melissa, you're gonna go, you're gonna go here. You're gonna go like that. Just one arm, just like that, okay? I hate you. And here's another great example of using a foreground element to add interest to a photo. But here, he used it to frame up his shot. And arm, arm up, as if you were hailing a car, falling, falling, whatever it's called. Like that, as if you were getting ready, but, okay? I feel like this is when Pierre's experience with wider angle lenses comes into play. I didn't even see a shot here. 
it was super harsh light there isn't much going on in the background but now that i see the images it looks pretty dope I minutes for many who already posed this model just saying. Oh, she was just sitting there. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, five minutes and three, two, one, go. All right, so since you're already sitting there, I might as well just take a picture. Oh, wow. Yeah. What a coincidence. Yeah, I mean, coincidences <laughs> happen every day. Pull down a little bit more. To the side. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, my creative juices started to get flowing. I saw this corner, a tri it created a triangle, and symmetry it created symmetry on each side, and yo, I am so high on this shot. It came out so good. You best believe you're gonna see me again with a wide angle lens because these shots are dynamic, they're different. They look different. Got one minute 30 for Manny. When you're out of ideas, can't go wrong with reflections. So I saw glass, I saw some stainless steel, so I went for it. Went for your classic Instagram reflection shot. Can't go wrong with it. <laughs> now it's Pierre's turn. Ready, three, two, one, Come on, go. Let's try it. Low key, I seen that the staircase was available after, and I was like, I hope Pierre doesn't see that it's available. But of course he sees it. He goes down there and he makes some pretty cool shots. I love the one that she, when she's at the top and she's really small. That's what I love about wide angle lenses. You can play with the perspective of things and the and the size of you know something that's not too far away. Who took the better photos? I don't know yet. I have to see the final result. No, no, no. You have to pick one. This determines a lot. That's hard. Who, who did it? Who's better? I can't Manny. say. Say Manny. No. Manny. <laughs> Manny's better. <laughs> She's being highly influenced by someone, but I no, won't name that bad. person. <laughs> hey guys, can you do me a favor? Make sure to check out Pierre's YouTube and Instagram. As you see, the guy is super humble and super talented with, with a lot to offer. And also check out Melissa's Instagram. She made us look good out there. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. So make sure to check them out. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.